So hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, my hair is looking a hot, crazy, foolish mess. But that's okay, because we about to get this mess together. But in this video, I'll be showing you my silk blowout and trim routine. I do this routine like every three to four months. I just straighten out my hair, I give myself a nice trim, and I really just really just show my hair like some TLC and just kind of get it together. So in between my silk blowouts, I normally just wear protective styles. I kind of just braid it down, put wigs on, or just put it in a bun, don't touch it, whatever. So every three to four months, it definitely is time to like deep condition, do a rinse, to seal my cuticle down, and just, you know, you know, get it right. So in this video, I'll also be showing you some things I use to help grow my hair. I know a lot of people wonder what products I use in my hair, so I'm going to show you all of that in this video today and I'll show you from step A to Z on how I do my three to four month silk blowout routine. So yeah, let's jump into it. So first I start out with my high frequency treatment and this is basically just an electric rod that you can put on your scalp. It can also be used for skin to like zap pimples and stuff like that. But you put it on your scalp and what it does is stimulate uh, blood flow which you know stimulates your hair follicle and produces hair growth. I make sure that my hair is oiled before I use this and they kind of like work two and two together and this is um, in the wild growth bottle I really don't use the wild growth hair oil anymore but um, what I did is just mix my own oil and you can see how I did that in my um, you know hair growth stimulation video I just mix it with extra virgin olive oil and peppermint oil and I think I put tea tree in here too and it's just uh, it feels so good on your scalp it just feels so invigorating so I already oil my scalp but what I basically do is just go through I do like this get my scalp real oily or whatever I give myself like a nice head massage it'd be nice if I had somebody to rub my head though then I go in with the high frequency rod or whatever I turn it all the way up like I just want all the buzz on my head and then you want to make sure you touch it first to transfer electricity I don't know what the whole thing really is it's just what I learned in hair school <laughs> and then you put it on your scalp and let it go and it's supposed to do the business and you want to make sure you don't do this any longer than 10 I guess it just kicked in I wonder why it was like low at first but anyway you want to make sure you don't do this any longer than 10 minutes like if your hair starts stinking you need to take it off So after I'm all done with my high frequency, I just go ahead and give myself like another head massage just to really get that blood flowing and get those follicles stimulated. Alright, so now I'm about to go and shampoo and condition my hair. I'm using the Design Essentials O Protein and Henna Shampoo. This deeply cleanses my hair. I always use this, especially when my hair is dirty. I make sure I use this like after I take down my braids and it just gets all of that build up and product off. So I always, always start with this to get a clean slate. But for my follow up shampoo, I use the Honey Cream Moisture Retention Shampoo. This shampoo is super moisturizing. What it does is just helps to restore the moisture back to your hair and it's just full of hydration. It also helps to detangle here so I like to use this second lately I've been using my almond and avocado shampoo this is the natural line by design essentials and this works amazing but I'm running low so that's why I went on and uh, started using my honey cream shampoo but they both work really great they both do a really good job at moisturizing and detangling I'm about to go shampoo my hair because my head is smelling like a whole booty like for real and I'll be all right so I'm out of my shower here is my hair freshly shampooed and it feels so soft like y'all <sighs> So yeah, just those shampoos alone got my hair feeling nice and moisturizing. Also the fact that I kind of like pre-pro, pre-pro. So yeah, the fact that I put that oil on my hair like before I shampoo and I just keep my hair nice and moisturized throughout the week before I shampoo just make, really makes a difference. And I'm just feeling that my hair is a lot softer than it was this summer because y'all know, if y'all been watching, I ran into that dry spell with the sun and the chlorine and everything. So I feel like I'm getting it back on track by adding a lot more moisture to my hair. So normally every three months I do my clear demi permanent, which y'all saw me do on my last video. But today I'm gonna do dark brown. Dark brown will really just like seal down my cuticle and just really give me some nice sleek hair. I want the Clairol Beautiful Collection B18D, which is darkest brown. If you do get relaxers or like texturizers, you might want to think about doing a rinse on your hair. 
because once that chemical, the sodium hydroxide, I hope I'm saying the right chemical, but once that sodium hydroxide gets on the hair, it does lighten it, which exposes the, cuti the cuticle. Y'all, I can't even talk to that. It exposes the cuticle, so putting that rinse on it would just seal it back down and give you that shine and moisture and body and just make it a lot more healthy looking. Because if you notice, um, people who get relaxers, their hair might seem like lighter brown or sandy brown it's because of the chemical that's lightening the hair whenever your hair is lightened like I said that cuticle just opens up and it's exposed and it's more drying so that's why you have to do a lot of moisturizing a lot of deep conditioning when you relax or if you got color or even if your hair got some bleach like mine you got to do a lot of moisturizing to keep it under control some people even ask me if rinses damage your hair no girl not at all you can do rinses like really however often you want to because it's nothing but a moisturizing color it's just a deposit color that's literally just sinking into your hair and moisturizing your hair as it's coloring it so it's nothing wrong with rinses at all rinses are actually oh yeah, rinses can really be beneficial to your hair So yes, my hair is a drippy right now. I like to put my conditioner on when my hair is like soaking wet. I don't even like to squeeze it out because it just soaks up. Oh yes, girl. It soaks up all of that conditioner like when it's soaking wet. Now, I love this conditioner. This is the Naked Conditioner. Girl, when I tell y'all, I love this conditioner. This conditioner is just like butter. It just makes my hair feel so freaking good. So, and I like to condition my hair in sections, but I'm not going to deep condition. You actually want to avoid deep conditioning like after you do a rinse or a demi. That color already really like deep conditioned your hair. So doing some extra deep conditioning is kind of going to make that color fade. So I just do a quick condition, but I do like to run it through all my hair. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out with some cool water, and then we're gonna go ahead and finally jump into the straightening. And if I'm right, y'all, so I'm all rinsed out. Oh, it feels so good, y'all. Oh, it feels so good, and it smells so good. Y'all know how your hair smell after a fresh rinse? Oh. <sighs> all right, now I'm going in with my HCO by Design Essentials. This is a great leave-in conditioner, heat protecting, detangling spray, and I'm also gonna use the Keratin Green Tea Reconstructor. So normally I just go ahead and put my hair to twist and sit under the dryer and let it dry up for the most part under there. But y'all, it's late. I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm finna just blow dry my hair and get it done and get it out of the way, okay? And then I have my plastic cap on just to keep this part of my hair moisturized because it would definitely dry up in like 2.5 seconds. I'm spraying some more of my leave-in. Oh, I'm gonna spray some more of my leave-in like on each section just to really Work it in there, and then I'm going in with my dimming brush and detangling it.
gonna work out, okay? Mama, we all been waiting for the moment I've been waiting for, okay? Cause I'm ready to sleep. So of course I'm using my silk. Up a little bit too much. I'm gonna be greasy headed out here. Got a new flat iron. Y'all know I was in love with my hair arts, but I've been wanting to try these flat irons for so long, so I'm so glad I got them. These are the Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Flat Irons. And y'all, like, you gotta be careful with titanium because when I say these things get hot, like, girl, I'm gonna turn these down. I had them on 450, but we're gonna, we gonna try 410. We're gonna go with 410 first. Um, that's why I'm more comfortable with ceramic plates because they don't get as hot and they keep a more, like, even heat. Titanium, oh my God, heat generates through these things like it's nobody's business. So just, just a warning, be careful if you choose to buy titanium, make sure to not put them too high. If y'all been up on my silk press, silk blowout videos, I go through about one pass and then I trim my ends and then I go back in style. So I'm gonna just let y'all enjoy the video. I'm gonna shut up, relax, watch some YouTube videos, watch some Netflix or something and chill and get my hair done. So.